day four of our trip. We're really excited. We're over at Universal Studios Orlando. Yeah, it should be a good day. Nice weather looks like. We might do both parks. Actually, we're probably definitely going to do both parks. I'm um, not sure exactly what rides or anything we'll do. We don't really have any plans. Just here for a fun day. Yeah, we definitely want to go to the Harry Potter area and you want a butterbeer. Exactly. But other than that, <laughs> don't know. We'll just explore. Yeah, we're excited. Can't wait to take you along. Thanks for joining. We decided to head to Islands of Adventure first. We're going to go in there, explore, go on a few rides. We might get breakfast in a little while. Not exactly sure where, but we will take you in to Islands of Adventure. Well, now that we are in Islands of Adventure, we are gonna head over to Seussville and maybe check out the train, see if anything or what is open over there and start our morning with a really exciting ride. <gasps> and you, you get to be here while we share this tale that brings a myth right here where we stand. It's our dear friend, the Lorax. Let's give him a hand. Way back in the days, when the grass was still green, and the pond was still wet and the clouds were still clean. We made it! So we're gonna go on the train. It's a perfect one for our early morning. So in the queue, it's giving the whole story from the speeches uh, from Dr. Seuss, so it's kind of fun. We're walking right on the first ride of the morning. It's the Dr. Seussville little train ride. Gets a cool little view up above all the other rides. I don't know why Sarah and I like this one so much, but we definitely do. So we're about to get on. I know why I like it so much. It reminds me of the People Mover at Disney World, which is one of my favorite rides. We're the only ones on it. MG train, <laughs> first thing in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> can you sound like a circus organ? The trolley train can boop. How about you? Can you go boop, 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 It's as good as I remember. We're good. We're trying to decide where we should go. Do you have any recommendations? Many recommendations. Where have you been? Seuss Landing. Did you walk past the sign already? We did. Should we go back there? I would. He's a god. He's a god. Do you get to meet him? What? Do we get to meet Poseidon? It's called Poseidon's Fury. If he's not too furious, he'll be there. Okay. We I would ready. definitely go there if I were you. Because right. then you wouldn't have missed anything. Okay. I don't know, did you do everything at Seuss Landing? We rode the train. You rode the trolley in the sky? Yes. Did you go on the one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish? Not yet, we didn't do that one either. <laughs> did you ride in the Kara Seussel? Nope. Did you ride the Cat in the Hat? Nope. <laughs> so you didn't do anything in Seuss Landing? We did the train! The so train. 25% of the things you could have done there. Sarah and I made it over to Hogsmeade in Harry Potter World. We are going to actually ride the train over. It's 10 minutes, but as you can see, it's pretty quiet over here. We do want to get over to the other park and we love the train. And since it is such a short wait right now, 10 minutes, we are going to probably do that and come back here later to hang out. But the reason the train gets to be such a long wait is now that you are socially distancing everything, you have to have your own actual cabin so it'll just be Sarah and I alone in the train which does make it take quite a bit longer when it comes to filling those trains so we are going to take advantage of that 10 minute wait right now and I think head over to the other park but we'll be back here later to explore. Alright we're 
are just walking up to the train. It looks like there's not gonna be much of a line and we love the train. It's a great way to travel between the two parks. So we're really excited to do this. We're just waiting for the train. I think I hear it coming, but that was no line at all. We just walked straight up. They gave us some hand sanitizer and we're gonna pop on the train and head over to the other park. closing up the doors and we're getting ready to go so I'm so excited. Love this one. The train ride was awesome. We did get our own cabin, which we love. Yeah, and I guess we'll just go explore around here. I love like the shops here. Maybe grab a snack. Do you need a butterbeer or not yet? Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do yet. We'll kind of just wander around and just explore. Yeah, I'm excited. Let's go do it. We're heading out of the train station and we're going to be over here at Universal Studios. We're going to probably head over and check out Fast and the Furious. It's not the greatest ride, but it is a pretty funny one. So if you haven't experienced that, wait till you see what they thought a good ride was here. And after that, we'll probably head into the Harry Potter area again and maybe get some butter beer, maybe some ice cream. I don't know, but we'll definitely have a good time because the Harry Potter for us is the only reason we have Universal Studios annual passes and we like to spend as much time in there as we can. Over here at Universal Studios, it does seem a little bit busier than Islands of Adventure, although it's really not that busy. I mean, there's plenty of spacing, everything like that, but there is a slightly larger crowd. We're gonna go check out what the queue for Fast and Furious looks like, and if it's not too bad, I think we're gonna hop on. And here we are at Fast and the Furious. It says it's a 25 minute wait, so I think we're gonna head on. Might as well. They have a bunch of Fast and Furious merchandise when you get off of the ride. So this is just some of it. These are like the t-shirts. They have a whole bunch of them to choose from. They also have some like cars for kids, but there's a bunch of stuff in here. If you're into Fast and Furious, there's lots of stuff to check out. ride and if I'm being a hundred percent honest it's it's bad so it's as bad as I remember basically what happens is you drive up they're having a party and then they're like oh no we're getting chased and then you go into a room with just screens on either side and you watch kind of a car chase and then that's it so it's a really quick ride if you love Fast and Furious though you'd probably like it but for us um, we don't mind Fast and Furious but it's just not that exciting of a ride for us um, but I'm so glad we did it we haven't done it in a very long time I think we've only done it once before probably for good reason but now we're gonna maybe wander into Harry Potter, check that out and get a snack. Here we go into Harry Potter. Diagon Alley is one of our favorite places in all the theme parks we've been to. It's just so awesome, this entrance. You come in here and there we are. This makes it all worth coming to Universal Studios. 
So they have these little Dobbies and they are so cute. And he has a chocolate frog in his hand. Is that what that is? Nice. Thank you so much. Thank you. There's a, oh. Chocolate frog pin. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. It smells like chocolate. Oh, that's so cool. Thank you so much. Thank you again. All right, and now we're gonna go find Jeff, who I believe is in line for a butter beer over here. So we'll go see if he's gotten that yet or if he's still online. But there's just like this little butter beer stand over here. And oh, I found him. He's over there waiting. So it looks like there's a few other people in line. So I'm just gonna hang out and wait for him over here. Here's just a quick peek at like what the crowds look like. Jeff just got his butter beer. He's so excited. All right, it's an irregular butter beer, and he loves it. Perfect. It's perfect. All right. So he's gonna enjoy that. We're stay uh, away from people, and then we're gonna walk on. I might grab an ice cream. All right, I'm gonna grab an ice cream. We're the only ones in here, so I'll have a little bit of time to pick out a flavor. But I'm really excited. ice creams and they're already melting so I'm gonna <laughs> dig into it fast. I got strawberry peanut butter and sticky toffee pudding and Jeff went with a sticky toffee pudding as well so we are gonna give them a go and then walk on after we finish them up. These are both amazing flavors so the sticky toffee pudding has like chunks of like cake type pudding stuff in it and then the strawberry peanut butter is really good. You can definitely taste both the strawberry and peanut butter but I love it. I would definitely recommend it. They also have soft serve ice cream, like a soft serve butterbeer ice cream in there. Um, so it's a great place to kind of stop in for a snack. In the Tower of London, large as life, the ghost of Anne Boleyn walks they declare. For Anne Boleyn was once in every fine, until he made the headsman bob a into the wand store and we've actually never been into this store there's only one other people ahead of us and then we're gonna go in and kind of check it out we're good to go explore Ollivanders hello hello how are you I'm well welcome to Ollivanders thank you come on in you guys have a stand for me right there you can watch my room looking so yeah we, we have no idea absolutely no worries for starters, these are the famous witches and wizards. Okay. Uh, so we have Harry Potter, Hermione, Dumbledore, stuff like that. Uh, the ones up top do not cast spells. The ones in the best do, though. Okay. Uh, if there's any particular witch or wizard you wanted to know, I can point them out for you. Um. So uh, Dumbledore would be the elder one. The elder up there. Okay. We also have his first one. Oh, you have his first one from Fantastic Beasts. Oh, that's cool. We were just in the wand store and uh, the team member in there uh, said that she could bring us over and see what the wait was like for the actual wand experience where it chooses you. And it was only a 10 minute wait for us to be able to get in. So we're really safe. We've never done this before. Um, and I'm gonna be the one who lets it kind of select me. So I'm really excited to do this. Makers of fine wands since 382 BC. I am the wand keeper. And you, Sarah, is it? Yes, yeah, Sarah. You are here for your wand. Stand right there for me. Now, Sarah, which is your wand arm, right? Very good. Now, you may know 
every Ollivander wand has a core of a powerful, magical substance. We use unicorn hairs, phoenix tail feathers, and the heart strings of dragons. Wand of oak, 16 and a half inches long, rather bendy with a unicorn hair core. Step forward, take your wand, step back. Now you see that ladder right there? I want you to bring that ladder to you. Give your wand away and to say, Accio Ladder. Accio Ladder. <laughs> inches long with a phoenix tail feather core. try out some spells outside, give it a go. It's really fun, I loved it. It was one of the best things probably I've done here at Universal so far. So I would highly recommend it. We got really lucky that there was no wait, but even if you had to like schedule a later time, I'd still recommend doing it, it was really cool. Trying out our new wand. You're a wizard, Sarah! I don't know if I with a map that lets you know where all the things are to activate. Honestly, the wand experience was one of the coolest things, again, that I've done. I just still can't get over how fun it was. I love that they're letting just one group in there right now, so you're guaranteed to get one of the people to do it and have the experience, but it was awesome. If you're coming right now, I would highly recommend it. We just finished up here at Diagon Alley. We are now gonna head to the front of the park to meet up with some friends. From there, I'm not sure what rides we're gonna do. We might try and do ET. That's one of our favorites here. But that wand experience is really fun. I can't believe that we just got to walk right in. So because of everything that's going on, they are only allowing one group in at a time. But amazingly, when we walked up, they only had a five minute wait. So we went right in. Sarah got this wand chosen for her. And we went around and explored for the first time. And she did a bunch of spells and it was a ton of fun. So it's been a really good day here so far at Universal. Crowds are pretty light. Wait times are pretty short. And we're having a blast. I'm. <laughs> I'm thinking we're probably gonna head over to Islands of Adventure again here in a little bit because we didn't do much there this morning and there are a bunch of things we wanted to check out. But overall, today's been a lot of fun. It's a fun little break from Disney World and I'm really glad we came over today. 
It's now mid-afternoon, and just to give you guys a sense of the crowd, you can kind of see over my shoulder, this is the main entrance to the Universal Studios Park. It's pretty quiet, and I'll turn around here and you can kind of see the remainder of the street. There's Sarah, and there it is heading back towards the Mummy, and then past that would be the Harry Potter area. Overall though, there are very low crowds here today. We've experienced, I think, no more, haven't even seen more than 20, 25 minute wait, uh, what, besides Hagrid's, which is always long, but everything else is 20, 25 minutes at the longest. A lot of things are shorter, 10 minutes or so. It's been a really enjoyable day, and we're gonna finish it out here with some friends, but so far, these crowds are outstanding. They're even smaller than those you experience at Disney. Here's our friends, Jason and Ed from the Traveling Husbands. Hey guys. Hey. We are gonna head over to ET. Sarah and I love this ride and Jason and Ed wanted to do it as well. It's usually a pretty short wait. It's a fun one, it's classic. Not too exciting, but definitely one that we try to do every time we get here. So we'll go to that next. The wand is now part of me, so I just gonna keep holding it all day. But um, we're about to go on this. I, it's only a 15 minute wait, which is awesome. And for me, my favorite part about this ride is that you're on like the bikes and you actually get to fly with ET. So at Universal, a lot of the rides are screen based. This one is not, and it's just a really a fun time. Here we go through the queue of ET. Looks like it's gonna be a pretty short wait. We're walking through the Simpsons land on our way to Men in Black. You can't really take a camera on Men in Black though, they do require lockers, so we'll kind of catch you back up as soon as we get out of that ride. But that's one Sarah and I really love. It's such a fun ride, similar to um, Buzz Lightyear in the Magic Kingdom, except Men in Black and you're fighting the aliens. So we will catch up with you in a few minutes. We're about to go in, but before you can get on the ride, you have to drop yourself in the locker. So we're gonna put you with the camera in there and then head into the ride. We just got off of Men in Black, and unfortunately, I came in last place. Uh, I don't know who won, but it surely wasn't me. It might have been Sarah. I don't know, maybe Jason or Ed did well. I just know I was in last. That's all that really matters to me. I'm not really pleased with the performance. But it was a fun time. It was a walk-on, so another great ride. We love the Men in Black ride, so it's just such a fun one. Um, there's one part of the ride where it's like, push the red button. Um, and I always do it too early, but this time I was lucky and I got it. So because of that, I won. Um, but it was really fun. It's a really good ride. And now I think we're going to wander around. Um, and we're going to let Jason and Ed kind of pick what to do next, whether it's either more stuff in Harry Potter or switch over to the other park. So we're not really sure, but we're just having a great time um, hanging out with them and just exploring the park.
Now we finished up in Diagon Alley. We are headed back to the train. We're gonna head back to the other park, Islands of Adventure in Hogsmeade. We might try and get on Hagrid's depending on what the line looks like, but we're gonna explore over there since we were only there this morning for about 10 minutes before we hopped over to this park. Heading back up to the train. We we're just getting ready to get to the train. So even though we rode this one direction earlier this morning, we're now taking the opposite route, which is fun because then we still get a different video. So we're looking forward to getting on it. Going to Hogwarts. We just missed the last train to leave, so we are gonna be first on this next one. We're about to head over there. Here we go, we're going back to Hogsmeade. We are gonna maybe check out Hagrid, see how long the wait is, and then wander around and do a few things there, because this morning we did not get much done over there. It's getting dark out there. Let's find a compartment. Could you use a snack? Where's the food trolley? Come on, you can't eat corn drops and pumpkin pasta. Wrong. Food is the first of the five principal exceptions to Gamp's law of elemental transfiguration. Do you know what she's talking about? Jeff, Jeff, did you bring any snacks? No, but we can buy some. All right, well, we'll have to wait for the trolley. And we are here in Hogsmeade, just got off the Hogwarts Express, and we are gonna go check out and see what Hagrid looks like. We're gonna hop on Hagrid's now. It looks like it's about 45 minute wait. We love this ride. It's probably one of our favorite roller coasters in the Orlando area, if not our favorite. If you haven't done it, there is a ride through we have, a full ride through. I'll link it up here in one of these corners. But we're gonna hop in line right now and enjoy our favorite coaster. All right, it's also starting to rain a little bit. Hopefully it holds off. After the train, we just popped over and grabbed a drink really quick um, and popped into the restrooms. But now we're heading back over. We're gonna get on Hagrid's. You have to be yourself in a locker for this ride as well. So we're gonna do that and then get on the ride. We are just heading into the Hagrid's queue. So the ride is just behind me over there. And we really like this ride. We just got off of Hagrid's and it is still an amazing ride. We got the entire ride to ourselves by some chance. Um, but it was faster than I remembered, but I think everyone liked it. Did you guys like it? That is, I love that ride. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so it was really good. And even, I think it was Ed's first time, right? Yes. Yeah. So it's his first time, time, and he liked it as well. So it was a really fun ride, and now we're going to go wander around. <laughs> We stopped in at the Boar's Head to grab quick drinks after Hagrid's and Sarah got the pumpkin juice and I got the Hog's Head Ale. This is my first time having pumpkin juice, so this is non-alcoholic and we got it at the Hog's Head, <laughs> not the Boar's Head, um, but I actually really like it. Um, it reminds me definitely of fall and pumpkin pie, it has the spices to it. I really like it. Did you like it, Jeff? It was good. He didn't mind it. Okay, so if you're looking for something different to try, I would give it a go. Here's the new Jurassic Park roller coaster construction right out back of Harry Potter. You can see the loop and the tall part in the distance with the crane as they continue to build it. But it looks pretty awesome. I'm really excited to ride this one when it gets finished. We are just gonna go on Dudley Do Right. So I think I might just ride with um, our friends and Jeff is going to take a video, but I'm excited. I'm a little hot so I could go to cool off. We just got off and it is such a fun ride. So we're both soaked from like our face down. My hat took the brunt of it. So I wore my hat and just held it on the way down. So that's a different color gray now, but it was really fun. I had a great time going on it. And then you can see Jason's a little, he's, he, he got a little. You can't see my frowny face through my mask. No, that was a lot of fun, but I am, I am soaked. My hat took the brunt of it, but it was fun. I like that, thank you. Yeah, thanks for going with me. Never again, no, <laughs> that was fun. And my watch made it, so it was good. <laughs> We're about to head on to Cat in the Hat is our last ride of the day. 
very exciting just so how we started the day but awesome AC on this one it's actually a pretty fun ride and it is very hot out so it'll be a fun end to the day with our friends Jason and Ed so this is a straight walk-on so we're just waiting for the party ahead of us to load and then we'll be heading in the cat, cat in the head. head. <laughs> we saw him step in on the map. We looked and we saw him, the cat in the head. Let's do something new. Two things, and I call them thing one and thing two. They are paying clothes so We are just getting ready to head out of Universal Islands of Adventure. I had an amazing time today, so this was really fun. What do you think? Yeah, it was a ton of fun. We had a great morning with just the two of us, and we had even more fun in the afternoon when Jason and Ed from Traveling Husbands joined us. We got a ton of rides done. We did a lot of exploring, had some fun drinks and that kind of stuff, so yeah. it was a good day. Yeah, I again, really fun day. Completely agree with Jason and Ed. They also have a YouTube channel if you want to check them out. But we are going to Animal Kingdom tomorrow, right? Yep, tomorrow is Animal Kingdom. So we'll be there early in the morning and enjoy our day there. Yeah. Thanks all for following along. Take care, guys.